Hello my dear student. Today we're going to talk about coding plane. It's a nice lesson and it's a new. So let's start it. And let's start our lesson with a nice video. Uh, inshallah you will like it. But I need for you to focus in the video because after the video we'll discuss it together and I will ask you some question about it, okay? Okay guys, now we finish our video. I hope you like it. Okay, so that's the curtain plan. We have four sides, okay? So we have four places. And each one of that it's called quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four, okay? And this two line it's called axis, okay? So the first one that's it's called axis X, okay? And that it's Y axis, okay? You should know that in the middle we have zero and right positive number, left negative number, up positive number, down negative number. So this is X axis and that's Y axis, okay? You must know that, right? Okay, now I want from you to open your booklet page 155. Here, he gave you a graph and he put in it some, some points, okay? And he want from you to use the graph above, write the order pair that name each point, okay? So the first here he want A. Okay, let's search for the point A. Come on, search with me. Yeah, that's the point A, right? Okay, and the point has two point. Okay, we put in the first the X, and the second we write the the Y. Okay, so let's see the point A. Let's start with X, okay? X, it's down here. It's what? Look carefully. Yeah, it's negative 2. So, we will write negative 2. Then, we will write the Y. 
its end was the number one so the point a it's negative two and one okay let's see the point b where is the p yeah it's here okay we will write two numbers on the point okay we we'll start from x so the p here it's negative six right very good hot baby and the y it's negative two okay okay question number three he wants from you to write the c where is the point c yeah very good here it is okay so we will write the point okay let's go for the x it's seven so we will write seven in the x place and y will be negative four very good the last one it's d let's search for the point d yeah here it is okay let's start from x it's three and what yeah okay and two okay that's great Okay, now I want for you to open your book to page 156, okay? So, here he want for you to write the point 2, okay? Number A, let's search for the point A. Come on, search with me. Where is the A? Yeah, here it is. We start from x's, yeah, so it will be 3 and 4. Okay, number 2, it's p. Let's search for the p. Yeah, here it is. Okay, it's negative 3 and, yeah, and 7. Okay, let's see. Number three, he wants for me the point C. Here it is. Okay, let's start with the X. It's negative three. And five. Okay. The last one here, it's the point D. Here it is. It's negative seven and negative four negative 7 and negative 4 okay okay just a moment okay guys here we want for me to use the quarter plane at the right identify the point of each order pair okay okay the first one here it's three and zero okay so let's see in which place it's positive three and zero so positive three and zero it's here So it's in which place? Yeah, it's in quadrant one. So it's in quadrant one. Okay, baby. Okay, let's see the next one. It's negative three and zero and zero. Okay, so negative three and zero here. So it's it's where, yeah, excellent. It's in quadrant two. Very good. Very good, how about you? 
let's see the last one it's negative 2 negative 4 negative 2 and negative 4 so this is in which place Habibi come on think about it excellent it's in quad come on think about it it's in quadrant three okay okay guys and now we finish our session i hope you understand the lesson and you like the video so see you inshallah next time and goodbye